All right, so this is gonna be my review of the Aquamax NF1 protein skimmer. Um, I wasn't really sure about the skimmer based on some of the reviews I had read, but it was one of those situations where I just felt like maybe some people weren't uh, you know, prepping it and setting it up right or what, but I've had this up and running for two weeks now. Uh, left for vacation, I was gone for five days. The cup was uh, full with probably another day to go. Uh, of a nice, good, dark skim mate. Um, so I think that, you know, this protein skimmer compared to like the reef glass I've tried on this 20 gallon, uh, you know, that's the one that uses the lime wood block and an air pump. Um, that works really well, but only for a couple days and then it needs to be cleaned again. So with the NF1, it's nice. You can set it up, you can leave for a while and not check it for a couple days. And you can see this right here is just after two days. And I'm running it fully closed on the vent. And if you look, the bubbles are really nice and frothy. So they're popping really nice. And you get a nice collection right there. And it definitely is not smelling good. So the bad stuff's coming out. But for that $100 price point, I feel like this one's pretty hard to beat. So um, I just wanted to do a better review because uh, it's kind of limited out there on the information on this one. So it attaches with a magnet. So I've just got it leveled up at the water line and the all-in-one uh, area, but um, it's working really well so far after two weeks. Uh, it probably took about four days to really fully break in. The initial uh, results were, it was just not really creating any skim at all. Um, but after, you know, like I said, like three or four days, it really started uh, creating some. And I think if I open this up, uh, it'll be a little more watery, um, but then obviously I'm having to do more top off. So, uh, yeah, that's it. The Aquamax NF1. Peace.